Hey guys, Dr. Dave here with another Hacked Existence video. Today we're going to be installing and configuring Squid as a transparent proxy. So let's go to System, Package Manager, Available Packages, type in Squid, then go ahead and click Install. Okay, now that Squid is installed, let's go ahead and go to Services and Squid Proxy Server. First things first, we have to go to Local Cache and change the hard disk size to 3000. So we want to allocate three gigabytes for our disk cache. Then we also want to leave the minimum object size as zero, so we cache all the files, and we'll leave the maximum object size as four megabytes. We also want to set the memory to 4096 to ensure that we're using about half of our physical memory, which is eight gigabytes. Then we go ahead and click Save. Then after that, we can return to the general settings page. Here, we're going to want to choose LAN as our proxy interface. We want the port to be 3128. We want to allow our users connected to that interface to go through the proxy. We want to enable the transparent mode to forward all of our web requests, HTTP requests, from port 80 as a destination on the proxy server. We want LAN to be the interface for the transparent proxy. And let's go ahead and click Save. Now we're going to configure the antivirus. So go ahead and click on the antivirus section. So we want to click enable squid antivirus using clam AV. We also want to enable Google safe browsing. Now when it asks for the clam AV database update, we want to select every one hour, which is required if you do use the Google safe browsing feature. Then choose your mirror or in the United States and go ahead and click save. Then once that is save completes, click the update AV button so CLAM can fetch the most up-to-date virus signatures. Now we'll return to the main PFSense page and take a look at our squid proxy configuration settings. So as you can see in the services, CICAP, CLAMD, and squid are currently not running. Let's go ahead and add the squid antivirus status to our home page so we can take a look at what's running through the squid antivirus so right now none of the services are running you can see by the red arrows on the tab so now let's go ahead and start those services by clicking the play button okay now we can see that clam antivirus is running our icap services online as well as the squid proxy server the icar file is a test virus to make sure that your antivirus software is functioning properly since we're filtering on the http protocol we will choose the icar.com file under the HTTP protocol section. Now that we've clicked the file, we see that it says cert authority is invalid. If we try to proceed on further, we get a virus detected error, letting us know that the engine is functioning properly. So a couple of important points that we want to discuss. We chose to do the transparent HTTP proxy because it was the quickest way to get uh, antivirus functioning on a majority of the internet connections you'll be running. If we do try to do the HTTPS filtering, uh, it requires man in the middling, which requires a complex setup of certificates and certificate authorities to ensure smooth function and um, due to the nature of HSTS uh, strict policies in some browsers it was causing a lot of grief um, with broken images pages were loading strangely uh, and it just proved to be too much of a hassle so we may revisit it in the future but for now this is a nice clean basic setup that will get you uh, functioning antivirus and will work for all the users of your router thanks for watching